never had anything like this on the channel before. Tell me what this is, what it started as, okay. and, and where it came from. Actually, they came from uh, Carter Go-Karts. They made, Carter Go-Karts was back like in the 80s, early up to about the early 90s. They made this, which was called the Mini Monster, and then they made the famous Grave Digger body on it. No, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And they, and they had a Jeep body also. Later on, they had, they, they made the Bigfoot version, where it was licensed by Bigfoot. It was the blue body with the, with the classic Bigfoot graphics on it. When we first got it, it had a Briggs & Stratton 5 horsepower motor. Nothing fancy about it. Sure. You know, because it's really not an off-roader. Um, it was made for shows, parades, whatnot. You know, so it's a promotional vehicle. But we pushed it to its limits. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody that we grew up with had uh, ATVs, quads, and everything, and we had this cart. My dad bought us in, in 94. It was around October, November 94 he got it. I had a local ATV shop. We, we had it since. It's like a family heirloom now. Never get rid of it. When we first bought it, me and my brother, we went out trail riding with it. You know, everywhere a quad went, we went. I mean, it's seen mud up past the suspenders, too. It had three different paint jobs on the body. The white version, when we first got it with the mini monster graphics on it, it was the classic 90s, you know, graphics with the white and you had the hot pink and you yeah. had the hot blue and the green it graphics looked, on it. It looked like a ski suit. Yeah, like, yeah exactly, okay. exactly. We ran that for how many years? Up to, I think up to 98, 99. We were going to get rid of it. We were going to sell it. We just couldn't because yeah. we had something really cool. So I wanted a different paint job on it. Messed around with different ideas and my brother at the time was going to school for auto body work. So we played around with the body and it was kind of like his learning curve. So it went from the white body to like this bluish to fade blue green color ran that for a couple years and then i wanted something really pop out and i went with this the red and yellow scheme now it's just it's just a toy right it's just I mean, a toy now yeah it's just a it, you know take it to shows and uh get back in the parades we stripped it down to bare frame in maybe 0304 after getting our own atvs mm -hmm. it kind of just ended up in the back of the shed we still wanted to keep it so me and my brother we, we tore it down had the frame all sandblasted all repainted every bolt nut and bolt put back together all brand new now you kind of baby so, it yeah no it's, more it's, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. <laughs> there, there's actually a, a club out there on Facebook that's geared to the Carter Mini Monster Carts now. Wow. Because they, they they're in, so rare. Are they still in business? No, no. Oh, Carter, okay. Carter Go Karts, they're actually, they're building burnt wow. back in, I forget what year, 01, 02, somewhere around there. Right. What is out there is out there, yep. and that's it. Yep. And the, in the fine one, or... you're going to you're gonna spend one, a one that's running, you're going to spend a fortune for. Even project ones that need completely rebuilt go for two, three grand. So super <laughs> rare huh they are super rare i'm amazed at how cool the interior is <laughs> yes now is that the way it came no no okay what no. did you guys do to that um i figured if it's going to be show use i'm going to do it right the whole interior is all handcrafted out of wood the underlaying part is all made out of wood planks none of the gauges and everything work it's just for aesthetic look sure but it does have a dvd player in it <laughs> so you know, again you know i wanted to do it the speakers and everything i put it for I, those long drives <laughs> right right right, right. <laughs> <laughs> i put it a seat in from a uh it's actually a jeep baja seat uh i got off of ebay fully carpeted the whole interior of it so, so how does it come what's the interior like when you get no, it? nothing, nothing nothing it's just you got your seat and your steering wheel you you put, you put a new motor yes it, i finally right? put it about three four five years ago maybe the old briggs motor i had in it was actually a racing motor it was a blueprinted racing motor that a guy that i knew who built go-kart motors built it for me and it actually that little thing pushed out 15 horsepower out of a five horsepower block and it could go 45 50 mile an hour on a good straightaway in that thing in that That'd thing be terrifying. It, it, right Right, because <laughs> there's no there's no suspension. It's just you know it wobbles because of the big wheels and everything. What's different about this one is too is it actually got a gearbox on it, so it's geared down for off road. So you okay. can climb hills almost straight up and down. After the old motor finally blew about four or five years ago through a rod, kind of lost interest in it, and it sat in the shed, just covered up for years this year i finally brought out a storage got a new motor for it now it's just it's just your basic motor now it's a predator 212 cc motor it was about six and a half seven horsepower this cart had a full electrical system in it with the electric starter you turn the key and start and everything but i actually i eliminate all that because electric in a go-kart just didn't work too good so i went with your basic pull start motor something i could just get in it start it and go with it <laughs>
this cart was actually what got me into cars and yeah. in the car showing because when we had this cart we'd put it on the trailer and just go into kmart or or wherever walmart people would be like what is that <laughs> so it was a gateway drug yeah it was <laughs> yeah <laughs> i did my first world of wheels in uh 2000 with this with this and i see there's some trophies there yeah in front of that's it. my accumulated trophies at the time it was that's... featured in dirt uh, when magazines were popular back then right you remember magazines yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dirt Wheels magazine did oh, yeah. a, uh, a little square thing on it. It was their, their reader's ride section. I can't help but notice one thing about it, and that's how small the steering wheel is. Mostly because you have to get in and out of it, Th right? That's correct. I had a full, I had a Grant GT steering wheel in there one time, and, and it kept hitting my thighs as yeah. I drove. So I, asked, I got a little small dune buggy style. But I bet you that thing is hard wrestling. No. Yes, really? No. The, well, even with a small steering wheel. Well, huh? they yeah. actually made a gear reduction for the steering. So instead of having your typical, like, rack and pinion type right. steering, no linkage just it has a chain it has a chain driven so it acts wow. like power steering the fiberglass bodies they made from the mid to early 80s up until about the 90s then they went with all abs plastic which is body. terrible yeah and they had no just... windows in them or nothing a lot of the a lot of the gravedigger version bodies would crack in the back yeah. back by the motors because of the stress and everything on it right. they just weren't very well made so is this bolted to the frame yes the, so the roll bar is actually yeah. bolted to it so it's actually a legit roll bar for that yes and it's got real steel tubular bumpers on it yeah i saw that i thought they were carbon yeah, at first no. but I, see you wrapped them. <laughs> I wrapped it yeah i wrapped them in the carbon they are full steel. for all that traffic you drive yeah right exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> the original body style was based on a 94 ish style ford f-150 body i wanted to update it so my most recent is the is the decals i i designed all the decals on it being a designer it's styled after 2019 for uh, super duty now did you guys replace all the shocks when you redid it because i noticed well the like... shocks are aesthetic only too there's no suspension on this i wanted to give the fill in the, the wheel gap the original tires come with a 22 by 11 8 i got rid of the 8 inch wheels and upgraded to those are uh, motorsport al alloy wheels uh, 10 inch wheel the side mirrors there i added those on there they didn't come with side mirrors the lund sun visor that was added that actually was a display model from lund sun visors at a local performance shop off-road performance shop in the area he had it hanging on his wall he was going out of business and my dad knew him and he says can can i have that and it fit the cart it fit. perfectly really perfectly no like it was kidding. meant for it that so not little... only is it super rare right and it... not only is it one of a kind because it has a dvd player yeah. in it, <laughs> but you're the only one that has the lund sun yeah too. right kudos to you guys for preserving this thing yeah because who right. knows how rare this thing is going to become trust me i had real offers i had people come up and say i'll give you 10 grand for it so i said nope not for sale you can't replace it it's just it's part of the family it's got its history it's just it's more more than a price tag. All I have to do is slap this on the trailer, take it to Walmart, take it to wherever, and I have an instant car show. <laughs> <laughs>